Today's Women in Sports profile is a familiar name for sports fans here in the D.C. area. Lindsay Zarniak spent many years as a sports anchor here in D.C. before moving on to ESPN and other roles. Now Lindsay is combining her love of music and sports in her new podcast, The Artist and the Athlete. It's so good to see you and been so much fun following you. I know everybody here in D.C. loves you so much. Um, I want to get into your latest project, though, because I'm really excited about this. The Artist and the Athlete podcast. What is this all about? How did this come together? So thank you so much. First of all, it's so great to see you, too. Um, it, it basically came together just because in the last 10 plus years, you know, of covering sports and being in different roles, I have fallen in love more so than anything with like the storytelling and the process and the behind the scenes of just the lives of the people that we cover day in and day out. And so honestly, where the seed was planted for me was way back when it was when I was working in Washington and Chris Cooley, who obviously then was a, a star with the Washington football team. He agreed to get on a plane and fly to Michigan to do an interview with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And we sat down and we're getting into this interview and all of a sudden they started asking each other questions and they were making these connections. And I remember in that moment being like, oh wow. Like I just kind of sat back and was watching this conversation happen. And I, I just, that's the moment where I was like, I want to do this as much as possible because finding out what connects these two people who have achieved such success that also are still fighting for more. It was fascinating to me. That's kind of a really long way of saying where it came from. It boils down to just an observation, I think, that I continue to have that is just that these two worlds are so similar and also they're very relatable to what you and I go through, what anybody out there goes through also. It doesn't matter that they're superstars. I think that there are things that people can pull from these conversations that are very relatable and applicable to their own lives. And the world of sports and music is so intertwined. And I mean, from the simplest of the music that gets athletes pumped up and these musicians are huge fans of these certain teams. And then you come to find out some, a lot of them are really good friends. Some of them are. And I, right. And that's an example of Brad Paisley and Clayton Kershaw. You know, right. we knew that Brad was a die hard Dodgers fan. I actually oh. didn't know until like the week we were doing this interview that they have been on vacation together and they go to Turks and Caicos and that they're actually like that yeah, kind of friend, awesome. which is awesome. And so that, <laughs> that definitely played into a really fun conversation there, but you're right. It's like, you realize, uh, and there was one episode in particular, like, so we did Eddie Vedder and Anthony Rizzo and mm -hmm. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs. And, and Eddie is a diehard, um, Chicago Cubs fan. And he was, geeking out in a way that I would you know, never imagine Eddie Vedder is like he was just such a fanboy and I was like this is just it's funny it's just bizarre and, and at one point Kristen like I felt that he was almost my co-host because Eddie was like asking these really like really good questions and I'm like whoa this is like he's so into it this is really cool so it's cool to see that side of them as well both you and I come from a news background, then we got into sports. What was what some of the hardest things for you getting more into the sports world and making that full time for yourself? There are times that I'm like, well, I feel like I'm crazy because I really believe in X. And I just, you know, sometimes there are some things that you think about and you're like, in, in, in your job, right? Where I'm like, I, I just have a motor and I've just got to see this through. And I just, you know, you get so pumped up by it. And that's also something as a woman, like, I, I feel like I have learned that I just think you have to embrace that because that's a voice that's speaking to you. And that's also something that I learned from, you know, Danica Patrick and Alanis Morissette, when I sat down with them, they were talking about that a lot, like the risks that they took. And also Alanis in particular shared a part about saying she was dropped by her record label because she wanted to make the music that was about to be the album called Jagged Little Pill, right? Everyone knows what happened with her there. Yeah. Her record label dropped her and said, no, no, sweetheart. Like, you know, we, we do not believe in this type of music, blah, blah, blah. And it blew up and it put her on the map. And she also talked about like the risk with writing certain lyrics that she's written and that she just learned the lesson along the way that you've got to be yourself and you've got to do what is driving you. And that's all, that's something that I've heard from like a lot of different people that I've talked to in this podcast. And for me, it's also kind of like therapeutic slash like just life lessons about making it, I think is kind of why I'm always gravitated towards that type of idea. 
Always so fun to catch up with Lindsay. Thanks so much, Lindsay. The artist and the athlete is out now everywhere that you get podcasts. It is a fun listen. Congrats to her. All right, Howard.